So we're working on a little test flight of the uh, DJI Phantom 4. Just came out on the market. So what is the price range on this unit? Well, um, thankfully, they decided not to make a million different versions and the Phantom 4, the only model that exists, is uh, $1,400. That seems reasonable to me for with a 4K camera. I think and it's got, it shoots 120 frames per second now uh, in 1080. So that's that is uh you know a lot of features for that price and it and you were saying it had the supported gimbal which yeah, exactly. which means one side isn't just dangling it has another motor on this side as well as this side yeah so it makes it smoother and uh we also have a much better gimbal lock that's it because the other one was so hard to put on this one is a little bit interesting but it works oh that's nice to have that yeah i guess i don't really need this about to fly it again but well, you never know. You might be walking along and drop it. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I hope not, but you never know. You never know. Maybe. Okay. Well, I'm ready to buy one. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm, I'm ready to get one. I need one. I just have to find out how to do it without my wife finding out. Now, my understanding is the radio is very similar to the other, like the Phantom 3, Phantom 2. Uh, it has 2.4 gigahertz video, kind of like Light Bridge, and I've been told it goes, what, three miles? Yeah. Something like that. 720p. That's 720p video. I'm going to get some hot shots here with the pan. Rotating the camera. We also have backup photography over here. It it's, uh, basically, it just does back and forth rotation. Yeah. Um, and then, but you want it to pass through the shot? Yeah, so basically it'll be here and I'll like do like something like this. I guess. That one, I'm ready. Or when you're ready. Okay. So Mike is running the stabilized Osmo camera. It's a unique device in itself. So you're making preparations for launch? Yeah. What are you doing? It's just taking a second to get all set up, warmed up. Hypothetically, it didn't take too long. But it hasn't it didn't take long before, but I've had IMU gave me some trouble earlier, so we'll see what it does. Phantom 4 is just hovering solid right there. He's giving it a little turnaround so we can get a look at all the different angles. And really hover solid, as you can see. And Evan is working the sticks. Very stable. Gonna do some stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do some stuff. And then, yeah, you know, actually, if it makes it to the end, I'll try to Optical avoidance system coming towards him, and it stops. Do it again. Take one step to the left. Okay. If, if you want this camera, it's good. Yeah, yeah, it'd be fine. Okay. okay, here we go. 
object avoidance system. Coming here. I'll go forward. Won't go any closer than that. So is that done optically or, you know, for a sensor or? Optically, these right here. So those, those two things? Okay. And you can go ahead and get really close to it and get some close-up shots with it. Obviously, you're hovering there. There you go. I might just stick with one, one zoom up there. Mike on the Osmo. <laughs> But you just want to, uh, I'm going to move it over this direction a little bit. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good. That's awesome. Now I want a video of it tracking me, so you guys can see this feature. It is amazing. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, it's going to be tracking him. First it's got to lock on to him. Pushes the button to make it lock onto his image. This is if you're you're really into yourself. Okay, here we go. And he's walking. And the quad is not only following him, but it's aimed at him. So the Phantom is actually tracking him with the camera. And rotating to get him in frame. So that is pretty fantastic. So if you don't have a Phantom 4, get your checkbook out. You need one. Now see, he's going to walk in front of me, and he just ignores me, because I don't look like him to the quad. Follow him down the driveway. Let's go step over here. And as you can see, it's rotating around. And here comes the quad. And what happens if I just walk right through here? Absolutely nothing. I ran right in front of it. It's didn't miss a beat. And you can see I'm following right underneath it, and it's following Evan. Evan stopped, it stops. You guys, one of you guys want to be tracked? You want to be tracked? <laughs> Go ahead, Dave. I'll... All right, track me, and I'll track it with the camera at the same time. Okay. Okay, Evan got a phone call, and had to take off but I just thought I'd get a closer look at some of this stuff so here's the Osmo right here and this has a stabilization unit on it so it takes nice smooth video and I believe it's 4k uh, drone dude has a review on this on, on his channel if you want to take a look at it and let's take a closer look at the DJI radio now that we got a chance so I guess you can see the resemblance to the other radios. Uh, one thing that was noted that there's a pause button here now. Uh, I think it used to have a, a different button there. I forget what it was, but it's now a pause button. There's also some buttons underneath, like right here and over here. And I think those are typical. You can see here where the tablet is plugged in right there. So it's got a direct connection to get the uh, HD video. Okay, right now I guess the quad is off, so the camera is not even running. But there it is right there. It's just dangling right now. It's a, Surprisingly, this quad is not that heavy. Uh, compared to like the 350 walk eras, this feels maybe lighter than that. And I presume it's probably the battery configuration. Uh, I think the Walkera had like an eight cell battery, really heavy, long thing that's longer than the body on this quad. So this one is a little bit lighter, has your typical DJI props, and I like the little uh, 
heat sink cooling apparatus on the bottom of the motor here. That part doesn't, let's see, yeah, that part doesn't actually spin. It's just fixed, but it's a little heat sink to keep things cool. And you can see the very bottom here. Those, uh, I don't know if there's a, the sensors or what right there, but I presume they are. It's almost like it has, is that sonar on the bottom? Yes. Okay, that's what that is. So there's a sonar on the bottom. It means it can stay very even as far as vertical. And then of course it has the object avoidance system. There's some object avoidance right here. It looks like there's also some on the bottom. So that's pretty interesting. Okay, I'm gonna get tracked. Coming up next. Yes, this is actually pretty interesting. Because up here we have a little reader that actually shows us objects that are how close they are to us. If I, you can uh, maybe hold that and if I walk closer to it, you see how they get redder? Oh yeah. And when you're in the air, it sounds like a uh, car uh, backup camera and it actually beeps at you when you get closer to stuff. Ready. Okay. I'm gonna do the follow me thing. Okay, I'm going to get over here so, you know, I've kind of contrasted against the sun, as he said, so I'll just get over here. Okay, I'm ready. Switch it on. All right, go for it. All right. First of all, I'm just going to walk around the other side so I can get a picture because that sun is washing out my camera. Okay, there it is. Now, let's just see if it follows me. Okay, I got the camera aimed behind me. It's actually looking at my back. If you remember, it was looking at my front before. So how does it recognize the back of my head? I got no idea. Okay, now, I'm gonna go around. Hmm. Okay, I'm turning around. I'm going over here to Evan. I'm gonna stand next to him. Okay. So how does it know me from you? As you can see, it's locked onto you. And if you move, it still tracks you. So that's pretty interesting. It's following me no matter what I do. Like if I do this back and forth, it is yeah. moving back and forth. And all I was was leaning. Just leaning, that's all I was doing. Okay, I'm gonna get back behind Evan. Oh, he doesn't want me to do that. Okay, I'm behind him now, and now I'm coming back in front of him. So it tracked me. It tracked me no matter what I did. Okay, I'm going to come back around here. Now I'm going to run away and see if it follows me. Yeah, now, now you can go ahead and start jogging. Nice. Yeah, you ran too fast. Uh, slow. Yeah, nice. It kept you in. Good job. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, she kept you the whole time. Okay, now, are we coming in for a landing, or what are we doing? Yeah, yeah. All right. Go back to normal mode. Let's go back normal mode. I'm gonna uh, land it over there just for the sake of walking with it. All right. And, uh, oh yeah, this is sport mode. Check this out. Sport. Well, look at that thing take off. Sport mode. It's pretty sport mode. Interesting. So it definitely has some, some balls to it if you want to fly fast. Enter in some mini quad races. Well, you could probably chase the mini quads and get film from them. You think you could lock into a mini quad and get it to follow a mini quad around? Uh, probably not. Probably not, but. Probably not. 
we won't boast things that we're not sure about. Okay, I'm just gonna do some shots real quick of the beautiful evening. Beautiful evening. Well, I'm a little out of focus. I'll just let it go at that point. Let's get back out here. You can see how high that is up in the air. But it's interesting, it has some, the lights on the bottom really actually show up good to the naked eye. Maybe not on camera, but you can see them blinking. You can see the red lights in the back. I guess the red lights are in the back, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. I see no red lights are in the front. Oh, okay, you never know with these things. So, red lights are in the front. All of DJI's uh, products have red lights in the front. It's really pretty far away. I, if I zoom out, it just will probably won't show up on the camera like I'm doing now. But I got it back now, maybe a little too far back. And there it goes over there. See the red lights on the front now. Going back out. Not very that means you're going backwards. I am. Doesn't make any difference to you, does it? Not really. Are you doing headless mode? No, no. Okay. Okay. That's enough. I'll right it and do the rest inside. I thought it was a little bit lighter than the uh, the Walk Era 350. Uh -huh. Just picking it up. I think it's heavier than the previous fan, though. Yeah. I, now I'm kind of out of focus there. It's getting dark where the camera's having trouble. Get the landing. Back to the bag. Okay, getting ready to do some indoor phantoming. Phantom fouring. Mm. And, uh... When I fly, if you don't mind just landing, just to maximize the potential safety issues. So, this thing, you can still fly a little bit, I'm still warming up here. So, yeah. So are you going to put go. the object avoidance on? Yeah, object avoidance is automatically on. All right. Oh, okay. I'm good to go. All right. sound inside the gym. Can you do a panorama? 
Yeah, yeah exactly. It's got sonar sensor and uh, floor and uh, downward facing cameras. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and land. The only thing is, I'm not a fan of the landing. It does it fine in here, but. That was pretty smooth right there. Yeah. Here, play.